give me a sec okay do i have a video to play you know what i'm gonna show the dsp video real quick and then i will um oh, let me i will go pee while it plays i'll talk about dsp and then i'll get to the lawsuit sorry to tease all right let's set this up all right <clears throat> here's the video guys love DSP. gentlemen i have for all of you all right all things considered everything going on all right uh as of today the documentary is canceled all right and i'm going to tell you why because there's a few major factors involved in this decision all right and it was not an easy decision to make because i've been working on this for months with mike and we've been going back and forth about stuff and it was a tough one all right but allow me to explain what's actually going on all right so number one to do a documentary like this is going to be incredibly time consuming. I'm talking weeks of work, likely away from being here and streaming with you guys, or really broken schedules and messed up stuff, right? So, for example, entire days of filming that I'm not streaming at all, a day where my schedule's way off and I'm doing kind of a half stream and then I'm running around. We're talking time, uh, days I probably wouldn't even see my wife because I'd be so busy, right? And again, not just filming here, but also filming, I'm having to travel and go around to do this filming and stuff like that. So just that number one, that's a big endeavor. And by the way, that's not the reason why I'm coming to this decision, but it's a factor in it, okay? Um, but basically, there's so many other factors going on. Some of these you guys know and some of you don't. Like for example, I've got personal stuff going on behind the scenes in my life that none of you have any idea about, all right? You just don't, because I don't share a lot of my personal stuff with you guys. You, as you know, over the last year, there's been a few t days where I've told you guys things are going on. I'm just, I'm not in the right mindset or I'm not feeling well because of stuff. And that stuff's ongoing. So already, I'm kind of already at a limit of kind of stress in my life right now with that stuff going on. Um, and that really sucks. All right, and let me let me also put it this way, okay? <clears throat> In order for this documentary to work, it would need to be even-sided, right? So you need to have an equal level of good and bad, balanced. What's happened is, since the word of the documentary hit the internet, there's 98% of the interest is the toxic negative. Everyone who hates what he's me. talking about is that um, he is uh, Mike Clum kind of fucked up because I don't think he realized how sensitive Dark Side Phil was to uh, to negative discussion. One of his top a logs is this guy called It's a Gundam, and It's a Gundam uh, was interviewed live on air by Mike Clum, and so Dark Side Phil realized that even if Mike has the best intentions to make a very fair documentary, that necessarily means that he's going to talk to people that Dark Side Phil doesn't like, and they might get um, attention in the documentary that drives attention to their channels, which thrive off of making fun of Dark Side Phil. So out of a kind of like a purely spiteful direction, he has decided that he's going to cancel this documentary um, so that there are n there is no attention driven to the channels that he doesn't like. And he kind of admits this. Um, I, I think that the other thing that he says is that if he wants to do a documentary, he wants it to be the last documentary. He wants there to be one dark side filled documentary that he endorses. And he wants it to be like a, a culmination of all his successes and triumphs and, and uh, something that he's really proud of that really reflects on his life. Like he kind of sees it as a trophy, right? have a documentary about him and i think that when um he sat back on it and looked like okay let's see if we can convince this mike clum guy to uh make a, a documentary that's as favorable to me as humanly possible and then he's thinking like okay what kind of things could mike clum talk about that will make um that will make me look really really good and there's nothing i think there's kind of nothing that he can talk about that w that he would actually be proud of um and i think that realization kind of shook him a bit where it's like if he was to narrate his story 
in a way that's as favorable to him as possible and outlined all the things that he wanted to talk about, he would still come up with a story that even he knew, knows is not favorable to him. It's kind of like, okay, so Dark Side Phil was a streamer. He kind of was one of the first video Let's Players on the internet. Um, he created this category that uh, 10,000 other people started doing and did better than him. And he's always been slow to adapt. And now he's put out more videos than basically anyone else on YouTube. If you look at his channel, he has something like 70,000 videos on YouTube because he does his playthroughs and in, in segments. So it's like every day he releases like multiple streams um, and they go into like the hundreds, like his long RPG playthroughs go into like hundred view segments and they get like a, a couple hundred views each tops. So he has like an incredibly unsuccessful channel that he's poured thousands of hours into over a decade and it hasn't really accomplished anything. And he's still like a mid-sized streamer. Like, sure, you know, getting a 500 subscribers or whatever is uh, impressive. But if you've been at it for 10 years, it's not really that impressive. <laughs> it's sort of like that's kind of 500 subscribers is kind of like what you expect from somebody who actually does stream for a living. You know what I mean? If when they're just some guy. Uh, the fact that he is someone that's been out for so long and only has that mod modicum of success is kind of embarrassing. So he looks at it and he's like, well, I'm being sued by, uh, I'm in bankruptcy. I'm paying off debtors. I barely make any money. I'm married, but we are like uh, celibate, infertile cat parents. And we literally call our cat, our child, like our fur baby. That's all really humiliating. There's no way... There's no way to really construct my life in a way that is flattering to me in the way that I would prefer it to be. So I simply will choose not to have a documentary, even if the documentary uh, would be as fair to me as possible. You know what I mean? Such is life. My son, wife and son. Yeah, pretty much. He's been at it since. Um, oh, God. He was he, he did professional playing. I think he went, I think his channel started in 2006. I can look this up. Dark side Phil YouTube DSP gaming 64,000 videos um 200,000 subscribers uh his last video Street Fighter 6 um has 900 views the one before that has 300 most of these almost none of his videos break a thousand views regardless of what they are or what they're about um, the only one, actually the only streams that I see that have broken a thousand views are him with cat because his wife was fat and a lot of haters, uh, wanted to see cat cause it was the first time that she's been on stream in a very long time. So, uh, that brought a lot of interest to the, um, to the channel and even, but even then it was only a, you know, 2000 viewers. When did he create his thing though? Joined April 15th, 2010. I'm not sure if that's when he started streaming or if this was like his second um, YouTube channel, but he's been on it for a very long time. I'll leave it at that. So that's the DSP update is that he has canceled the Mike Klum documentary, which I was actually looking forward to because um, I thought that would be like a fair like look at it. Unfortunately, all the hate, the, the gators, the gay gators and uh, a, a hogs, have gotten their way and uh mike clum has canceled his documentary um because really his a lot of them were like now that dark side phil is out of the picture he should do a real expose video interviewing only his a logs it's like i don't think they realize that mike clum's thing with boogie that made it so successful was that he actually had unrestricted candid access to 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 boogie and he showed Boogie in a way that was like documentarian and not just, you know, people like me or Turkey Tom or whatever, you know, re reading shit and flinging shit at him and playing clips. It was like a real documentary. And it's not really the same to just do like a hit piece on DSP without his permission, you know. Even if it is something that you'd want to see and maybe even maybe even something he would want to do, he wouldn't do it because then 
if he wants to talk to Wingo next, or if he wants to talk to, to, you know, whoever next, um, they're going to look at that and say, Oh, well, you're kind of like extorting me in a way, because now I know that I can either give you access and you'll make a fair documentary, or I can not give you access and you'll make a hit piece documentary without my permission. You know, it's not, it's, it's just not viable for him to proceed down that path. So I'd be surprised if he pursued it further, you know, such is life. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!